What's up guys and welcome back to another EVE Online video. This one I'm going to be talking about fleet mining and that's going to be like kind of my strategy. Um, it's been requested in the comments on a few videos. So this can be either, you know, you could be the command ship and you can actually have alts that are all your mining barges or it can be just, you know, how to run a, uh, you know, a successful mining fleet for your corporation. So obviously like you need like a command ship. So like this will work with, you know, a Rorkel, an Orca, Corpus, whatever level that you're at you you know you have your command ship so i'll be talking about the command ship first um we're gonna be mining ice today so normally what i do is i'm running ore or ice harvesters on all of my uh hulks so the burst i'm always using is command burst with um, harmonizing charge and then i'll run the uh two mining form and burst twos with laser optimization and then um laser field enhancement charge and then obviously you have your like your industrial core two and then we have our compressor for ice and then our two hardeners and then we have this remote shield booster too which we don't really need in high sec we're gonna be mining ice in high sec today but like if you're in null you kind of want to like throw some uh, remote shield rep on there so if you have battleship rats come in you can uh, target up one of your hulks that's taking damage and you can uh, kind of give it some support but the strategy i usually use for rats is every hulk including the orca or the command ship all has drones so when rats come on field i just um, cycle through all of the clients and just launch all drones um, high sig won't be so much of a big deal we might drop them all out um, once we get on grid um, but that's kind of what the command ship um, setup is like and then obviously down here i have access to my mining hold and then also the uh, command ship uh, fleet hangar now what you need to do is whenever you um, set up your fleet you need to make sure that the fleet hanger has both these buttons checked in green this allows access right to corp and to um, your fleet members that will allow your hulks to actually open up the fleet hanger and so now i'll go over kind of like the setup on each of the uh, hulks and they're all identical right um they're running their in their ice harvester twos and then i have a hardener which i turn on once they're undocked and then I also have access opened their mining hold and then also the work of fleet hanger. And what I normally do is when I undock everybody, all of the um, barges or the exhumers or whatever, all the mining ships, I have them approach the command ship. As you can see here, they're all just approaching it. And then what you can do is you can right click on the Orca the command ship and you can go to open fleet hanger. And then I just drag it over here next to the mining hold. And you'll see why that's handy. Um, We've also, I also go ahead and pre-nav where we're going. So um, the Orca right now is aligning to the nav. Whenever you bring all your ships out of dock, you want to like um, have them all stop and turn on hardeners um, until you can get everybody aligned so they don't like kind of, you know, because once they come out of dock, they're just going to keep going. Some skills that are useful that you probably want on all of your uh, mining alts and everybody that's in your mining fleet for navigation this is going to help you with actual movement is you want like navigation five and then you want evasive maneuvering five these are going to allow you to align faster sub warp speed faster because the idea is we're going to uh, warp as a fleet the best that we can and then you know to grid and also off grid that should cover everything for the setup uh, at the station side so as you see i have the orca aligning to where we're going and everybody behind is approaching him so we're all heading in the same direction you can right click on your navigation and you can just warp fleet to you want to do this on your command ship you warp fleet to uh, zero right and so that's what we're going to do here and we're probably going to bounce um a little bit just because i didn't actually i, I nav just like the uh, nom i didn't nav like a rock or anything the uh the hulks got left behind just because they were approaching at like 50 meters um you can have them you know stagger approach and everything like that but they're all in warp so they'll all hit grid at the same time so now once we um so what we'll have to do is like since all the hulks didn't actually go into warp exactly with the um, orca once we get back on grid we'll have to do kind of like the setup again um we're gonna siege so we're not gonna be dragging so it won't really matter too much on the approach you just want to make sure all of your hulks or your mining ships are within 2500 meters so that they have access you have to be within 2500 meters to actually drop into the fleet hangar but we definitely want to get everybody kind of uh, kind of in range because we're not going to be compressing in the hulks we're going to be just compressing on the command ship 
and so you see there all the hulk showed up you pretty much keep them all in, in where they are we probably won't even approach at this point because you can see they're all within 2500 meters of me and then we're going to actually check uh the ice distance so we've got pretty much everything in range right and so what we're gonna do is we're always gonna target like the, the thing about ice is they're big enough that we can put all the lasers on one if you're doing asteroids or something like that you want to kind of spread everybody out but for ice we're gonna put everybody on the same rock right so our goal here is we're gonna be the first thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go through each alt and opening the fleet hangar targeting the rock and turning the uh, uh harvesters on so there's six hulks here so it might take a minute so give me some uh give me a second here so here's the first one we're gonna go ahead and target up the rock we're gonna open the fleet hangar over here and then we'll go ahead and start its lasers and then we'll go to the next one and we'll target her up and then we're gonna zoom in open the fleet hangar go and turn on her lasers I usually keep my you know my mining ships completely zoomed out just because it helps with um, it helps with performance quite a bit so we'll go and open up the fleet hanger on her turn on their lasers and then switch and what will end up happening here is once we actually get everybody kind of set up well then we'll start turning on on burst because you don't want to because these it's gonna happen pretty fast right you're gonna you're gonna be sucking in some ice pretty damn quick all right get her up and obviously you don't have to do six this is just uh, what I have access to and this should be the last one here open up fleet hanger there zoom her all the way back out and now we're back to the command ship so now what we want to do is we want to siege first just so that our first burst will be uh, affected in siege and then we'll turn everything on and then you can kind of look at your uh, your hulks here we got one that doesn't have lasers on and that's like the visual check and she's right here so we'll go and turn her lasers on so now we got all the hulks on and so now really all it's about is just kind of going over each alt and then just keep dragging all the ice into the fleet hangar that we have opened next to the ore hold and you can just keep cycling through and every time you make it back to your uh, command ship then you just pull everything into the command ship hold right and that just that process just kind of uh, kind of keeps going and what's gonna happen here is we're gonna burn down this stuff pretty quick and so normally every time I get around back around to the command ship I'm gonna go ahead and just compress just to kind of keep a handle on everything right so here we go and the yield is pretty high so you have to be very very mindful of it sometimes if you try to drag onto the same stack it won't work too well so all it is is we're just trying to make sure we get all of the ice into the orca because if <clears throat> we fill up the hulks then their lasers will turn off and then we have to go back through and turn everything back on what we're going to do next we're going to wait for this cycle to end so we can drag and when we get back to the command ship this time around what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the survey scanner and i'm going to check because i'm always going to like you want the command ship to kind of always like target the one that they're on so that you can kind of see you know how close they're getting so if you actually target this rock and then you hit this uh survey scanner it'll uh, actually note in here which one you have targeted which with little uh, arrows next to it so you see we have you know 185 units left in here so you just keep scanning periodically and uh it'll let you know kind of like when you need to get ready to kind of switch all your your guys and it's just kind of like managing targets, managing, you know, a bunch of stuff. If, obviously, if you're doing this with like your uh, corporation, then obviously like your miners, their goal is to just make sure they get everything into the fleet hangar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go on each of um, the characters and we're gonna select ever the next two rocks that are in close distance. 
that way we have the backup targets ready to go. So we won't have to actually wait, you know, once that target dies in order to uh, in order to switch over to it. And that's it. As you can see, you can tell that even in like a short amount of time with uh, six hulks with an orca on high sec ice, you uh, you suck it down pretty fast. I mean, we've already done um, over 70 units compressed in just a few minutes. Really good, and you can also you can also just be able to break everybody up too if you need to. Looks like we have some of the lasers off. This guy might have filled up. I didn't see. I usually don't run um, these six hulks anymore with this computer just because the uh, performance um, isn't that great. So every time I'm switching to a new um, alt, what I'm looking at is how close is the cycle? Do I need to stay on it? Is there anything in the fleet or is there anything in the mining hold I need to drag over? And is the uh, mining lasers on? Also, you want to make sure when you undock, see like right here, this uh, this alt actually had her cargo um, selected, so we didn't actually see. That's why her uh, lasers were turning off. And we just want to make sure that we're on the mining hold for every single alt. And that can happen sometimes, you know, when you change ships or whatever. The, uh, the when you undock the uh, cargo hold can get reselected as uh, as default down there. There you go. And all we're doing is just gonna, we're probably gonna wait on the compressor there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and run another survey scan. We are we knew it was at 185 last time we scanned, so now we're at 115. So we know probably in like a few minutes, right? Uh, because we're doing what two four six eight ten we're doing about 12 units of ice every four every 24 seconds um so we know like in a couple of minutes we're going to be uh ready to switch to a new target we just keep dumping all the ice into the fleet i'm kind of a stacking uh fiend right i'm always like also, you can hit, oh, click over here. If you don't want to compress yet, you can just hit compress, and it'll automatically stack them in the window. <clears throat> Usually, whenever the uh, the orca um, ore hole gets close, I'll uh, I'll hit the compress button just because it saves me. Uh, it gives one less thing to do right in the rotation. But that's kind of what we're doing here. We're just kind of rotating through every alt, and it's actually not difficult. You know, obviously, the one of my biggest issues right now with these guys is just the. Um, is really just this computer is not really built for um, seven accounts. Um, usually I'll run two different computers. I'll usually have the command ship on a computer and then I'll put all the alts on another computer. That way I never have eyes off of the command ship. But uh, right now I'm just running this all on one computer, which works fine. But, you know, most of the time these days I'm running like, you know, just three or, or less, you know, hulks just because it's a. Uh, with the plex prices and everything as they are. So see we're just we're killing it right now. We're just killing it. We're going to compress. So we've done 179. So we know we're getting close. We're gonna go through a real a cycle again real quick. And then we'll do another survey scan here just so we can kind of see how close we're getting. So we got 53 units left, right? So that's about two minutes, most uh, thereabouts. Probably a little bit less since uh, some of these cycles ended. But yes, this is uh, this is how you mine, right? <laughs> this is uh, this is how you get the yield. And it, the, like, what's crazy is like these alts don't have to be like super maxed out. They don't have to be like super blingy. They don't even have to be in hulks, right? The idea is just putting a lot of lasers on ice, right? That is that is the goal. The goal is is in like ice is like really great to do this kind of a uh, fleet mining with, just because it's a lot less target management. If you're doing asteroids, then you know every Hulk basically, um, every Hulk basically gets like an assignment, uh, and I'll kind of talk about that uh, like over here. Like so, this would be like the ore. Um, like say you're on the asteroid belt, what we'd normally do is we'd like assign a hulk to the, a hulk to the top five, 
and then a hulk to the top or to the bottom. We have everybody sort the same, you know, the same uh, configuration, like sort ascending or sort descending. And then we assign one person to like top five, one person to bottom five, and then the next person to the five, second to five to the below, bottom, and then the other person second. You know, you get it. So basically, we're spreading out, you know, target assignments throughout the entire list so that nobody's crossing, you know, over too much. And that's a way you can easily manage uh, doing like asteroid belts and stuff where you, you know, if you put like, you know, 12 lasers on, you know, one belt of our rock, you know, <laughs> some of those cycle times are going to get uh, wasted. And that's one thing you want to make sure you're like, we, we're, we're jibber jabbering and we uh, fill up fleet hanger. So we got that. That rock just died. So now we're just going to go through and make sure we cancel all of these that are still running that didn't get the last little bit. And now we're just going through every alt and we're reassigning to the next backup target. And then we'll be back up and running again. And what we're doing is also making sure that everything's out of their uh, ore holds just so we got some uh, compression to do here. There you go. So we've done 246 so far, which is pretty good. We're not really worried about... Um, we got one, it looks like we got one uh, Hulk that's just on its own little rock by itself, which is fine. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna survey again. And uh, since we have more than one target, we're gonna be looking at distance here. So we're 8,600 meters from this one. So we know this is right here. We have 250, right? Or 260 units in the one we're on right now. So we're gonna try to locate this, uh, this one Hulk that's on the wrong rock. There he is. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to like at least get everybody on the same rock here. And a lot of that has to do with just um, their varying differences and distance from the Orca. Some of them, um, some of those ice on the list kind of overlap and they're out of order because of everyone's relative distance to everything. <clears throat> I'd say if you were out here doing this for like, you know, an hour or so, you're going to come away with a uh, considerable amount of ice I mean we've only been we've been going for like less than um, 20 minutes and we're already at close to 300 units let's see we're at 280 look at that awesome it's just a nice little thing to see too right And then what I'll do is once we kill this uh, rock, most likely I'll uh, I'll show you kind of how we uh, we leave grid as well. And once we get kind of caught up on all these ore holds, we're gonna start kind of like prepping for our uh, departure. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go once we while we're cycling through this time, we're gonna go here and we're gonna hit approach. And we're gonna have everybody just start approaching the orca as we're kind of moving through them this time you might bump the orca a little bit but it's okay he's not going anywhere fast all right everybody should be approaching now and what that'll do is when we get ready to leave we'll be able to align to the station and then everybody, all the hulks will be like kind of like right in behind the orca, ready to go. And you want to kind of like pre-plan it too, so you can kind of drop out of siege. And the other thing I'll know too is if you've never like done the command ship thing or with the uh, these uh, command bursts, if you have this will give you a weapons timer whenever you apply this to another um, capsuleer, an alt or regardless of what. I mean that's like a two minute uh, thing. As long as you have an aggression timer or a weapons timer, you won't be able to dock, right? So the thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you uh, kill your burst well, well before you get ready to warp off. And then so by the time you get to station, your weapons timer falls off and allows you to dock. That's why we usually recommend that you use a POS because even if you have a weapons timer and even if you actually leave grid with your burst still on, you can actually go into the protection of the POS and you can you know get rid of your weapons timer before you actually go to a station um, if you're in null sec mining as a fleet it's a hundred percent guaranteed it's a hundred percent recommended 
that you use a POS as your your in between from like your you know, where you're mining to your station. You always should go from the Anom to the POS, POS to an Insta Doc Nav on the Shatara. And in another video, I'll talk about like null mining uh, mining uh, tactics and stuff like that. So a lot of that stuff will make a little bit more sense. But since we're just kind of like to talking about the basics for fleet mining. Um, and we're kind of doing it just on ice and high sec. Um, just make sure that you don't, you kind of like prepare when you get ready to come off grid. Just make sure you're not forgetting to turn off your burst and you're keeping an eye on your weapons timer, right? Jibber jabbering again. Look at that. And this one turned off just because uh, that's what you got to be careful of. And like, that's the thing about six hulks. With, uh, is you fill up the fleet hangar super quick with the increased uh, ore hold for the the hulks now. It used to be like eight, now it's like you know it doesn't take very long at all, as you can tell. All right, that's another that's another sixty or so, three eighty five. Let's do another survey, and while that survey is running, we're gonna go and do another uh, rotation through the alts. To make sure we got everybody cleared and that'll give us an idea where we at uh, 91 so it's got 140 148 left in it so probably about another like three or four minutes we'll go and clear this and what I'll do is I'll kind of show you what I do because I know for a fact that I'm going to be what's this guy doing he filled up and didn't get a target so I know that once we get this rock done, we're going to be coming off of grid, right? That's the plan. So I'm kind of watching it with the survey scanner and like gauging when I need to start like cutting burst. Because we can cut burst and still have an effect and the effect will still be on the uh, the hulks for a little bit. But it's not just about the burst either, right? You have to kind of, you know, plan it so you can come out of siege as well. So what I'm gonna do is now, since we're getting close, every time I come over to the command shift on the rotation, I'm just gonna run another survey. So it's like, you know, every, now it's 122. And right now we're just making sure everybody's running. The minimum, as far as implants go for these alts, the, uh, this guy got kind of far away. I don't think he ever got approached. So the minimum for implants, like you at least want the Yeti um, IH1005. That's your um, ice cycle, 5% ice cycle uh, reduction. And uh, probably at least like an evasive maneuvering implant, right? The evasive maneuvering, the navigation implants, those help a um, ton when you're like trying to move everybody, you know, kind of as a, as a fleet. Here we go. Everybody's got like four in their hold this guy's and so this is the cycle's about to end there so I, I waited a couple seconds for that just so I could pull them all at once go run another survey we're about halfway on the uh, fleet hangar here so we're gonna go and compress again and what I'll do is at the end of the video we're at 98 left in this rock so at the end of the video I'm gonna run an appraisal and everything that we pulled so you know that over the course of watching this video you'll be able to have like a value that you can uh kind of think about when it comes in terms of mining in a fleet set up like this because I see the video has been going for about 25 minutes or so we probably we'll probably get it done here pretty quick press that we shouldn't have to compress again until we get ready to be done I think we got like a couple minutes. Let's see what this says. Uh, 70. I think we can do probably one more burst. And then we're going to red the burst, red the siege. Yeah, you know, we're, we're pretty close to the rock anyway, so we don't have to worry about losing any range or anything like that. So we know we're going to be done in the next three minutes. So we're going to go ahead and red the siege. That's 100, 150 or so seconds. So we got 62. Another thing we're going to do is once we get back around to the command ship as well, 
we're going to start aligning to our station. Make sure everybody's got their ice out of here. Go ahead and line station. And you can pre-align even when they're still in siege. It'll actually go ahead and like kind of like how autopilot works. There we go. We need to compress this. Like how autopilot works, and you're pre-aligning, so once you come out of um, siege, it'll automatically start moving. And so I think we definitely need to cut burst here. I'm just gonna say that because. I'm going to go ahead and look again at what we're doing here. 40. And so we have basically another two and a one minute and a half on burst on everybody. And so what we're doing is we're trying to time it to where we kill the rock and our weapons timer is pretty close to finishing. And also, you know, we're coming out of siege. It's it's kind of difficult to time it all, right? You don't get, you know, lucky all the time. I mean, we've got another minute or so on siege and then we also have about a minute left for the benefits on the hulks so <clears throat> we kind of timed it pretty decently right there you want to make sure you're not putting the fleet hanger stuff into the uh, hulk because that uh once you do this like this rotation enough you, you make those mistakes sometimes you're like why want to go in what's happening here so that rock's going to die pretty soon. So all we're doing is just, you know, the same rotation through all the alts. I don't know why he stopped. Get him back up and running. Let's do another survey. I think it's going to be pretty close. Six units, yeah. We won't even get through this rotation. And then what we'll do is once you come out of seed, we'll start aligning, which we're doing right now. So we, we nailed that. So while we're aligning, as you can see, all these hulks are going to start aligning. You know, or they're not going to be aligning, but they're going to be following the orca when it's aligning. So they're all going to be on the same heading. So now we're just going to kind of like, you know, housekeep a little bit, right? Make sure everybody's got their ice all in the fleet hangar. We got a couple more minutes on the compressor. So we managed to get those compressed. And also as far as like, um, like I know probably a lot of people who've been like trying to plan like, you know, corporation, mining ops, you know, worrying about like, well, if everybody's dumping into the uh, Orca, how do you do payouts? We've done it in, you know, the number of different ways, you know, in the past where, you know, we'll basically take the appraisal value um, at the end of the op and then we'll, um, you know, kind of divvy it up that way. Or you can use, you know, the fleet loot um, history, which can be skewed sometimes if you use a hauler, um, it'll do duplicate entries and do some weird stuff, and you can manipulate it too. If like one of your hulks, you know, drops something into fleet hangar and then pulls it back into their hold and then drops it back into fleet hangar, they'll get, you know, they just can basically stack, you know, and manipulate um, fleet uh, loot history. So we usually use that. You can use mining ledger as well, so you can actually like see exactly what every pilot, you know, have every pilot like submit their mining ledger at the end of the op and then you could pay out based on what their yield was and things like that. There's a lot of ways different ways you can do it. But uh as you can see here, we are aligned. Everybody's uh doing pretty good. And so now all you're going to do is just go over here and then go, you know, warp fleet to zero. You see the hulks they're gonna bump off the uh, orca but that's fine um but they're all gonna come in together and that's that's that so we have 539 um for e appraisal let's go actually let's change this to Jita here so we did about 76 million in ice for the compression just in the, the duration of this video um which is pretty cool uh that's uh that's not a bad yield like if you want to like do some high sec mining like you know, you can't argue with the uh, 76, you know, with and probably, you know, we had a lot of talking at the beginning of the video, too. So it's actually was probably more like 25 minutes for the most part. You know, the video's only been running for like 31 minutes or so. So you're probably looking at like 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes to do um, about 75, 75 million. Not bad. And obviously you just, you know, 
come back over to the station and then you know and if you're actually coming up here to take a break too on at least on citadels you can actually right click on the uh citadel and open uh cargo deposit and you can actually empty your ships from there um that's usually how we uh we empty everything out but i hope you enjoyed this video hope it gave you an idea of kind of how fleet mining works whether it be like with your corp mates or if you just want to run alts um and do kind of what i'm doing here and uh hopefully it gave you some ideas about the uh, potential you know income that can come out of it as well you don't have to use hulks and you don't have to use an orca you can use like procures and a porpoise it's like the same principle kind of applies you know have all your miners approach and open the fleet hangar and you know dump into the to the command ship and all that stuff it all it all is the same no matter if you're a porpoise or an oracle right um if obviously you're an oracle the yeah, it's a lot faster than that actually yeah, we, were, we were mining ice really really fast which is with the orca siege right there with max max boost imagine if uh I'll probably do a video in the future of doing like when I do the null sec fleet mining uh, video. I'll probably do it in the uh, Rorkle, just so you can see the uh, the ice mining speed in that. It's uh, it's even better than this. But uh, yep, thank you for watching. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.